Yeah, hey! <laughs> Guess what we're doing today? Man, hey, this man. dude right here, <laughs> this is crazy. He just like, he went on a bus and he decided he's gonna have 10 million views on this song. But you know what though, when it first started, it already blew up because this song is just crazy, bro. So when you wrote the song, what was you thinking? You know, it started it started all from the idea of my mom, um, just like, why don't you use, um, cause I, I, I explained to her about like hip hop sampling, how in beats, you know, you sample, uh, like other music from other things to like put it behind like hip hop drums. Yeah, yeah. And then she was like, "Why don't you use um, but di mo gamitin yung uh, like the 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 cultural music in the Philippines." Yung old like, school talaga. Yung old school right? talaga. And then so I thought in my head, she the first thing she wanted me to do was tinikling, which is also like a cultural dance from. Like you know, from way back, way back, and but Aye. something that was close to my heart is um, cariñosa. <laughs> you know, there you go. <laughs> cariñosa is my favorite one, because I remember, but I have a memory na parang pinore ako ng teacher ko na. <laughs> right. So what we're gonna do today in this channel? By the way, I am H Bomb, and you guys know who this is, right? Easy move. Yeah. Twenty two double O. Although I'm the post city, by the way, for everybody that didn't know that. That's the whole city, you feel me? You know, it's just like, I put it up like that, you feel me? It's just, I feel like, in a sense, the way people might think, it's just like a regular old set, like a block. But, you know, just no set, bro. That's my whole city, you feel me? It's 22 double O. 22 yeah. double O. And my, you know, everything about that, it's just like, I feel it in my heart to represent it, put it out there, you know. I'm from the Philippines, grew up there, only been five years here in the States, bro. So it's like... Everything about that. And everybody that's like reacting to the song, it's like everybody's thinking like, oh, he grew up, he grew up in the States. And so now you like cleared it up. He's been like five years. So what people are wondering now, though, is why do you speak English so well, though? Why do I speak English so well? Um, I grew up listening to, uh, to, to like American media. Like right. that was what my parents fed me. Like, I don't know if fed is the right word. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's exactly what that is. Yeah, like, it's like the type of media they would have me consume, and that's, um, like, I fell in love with, oh, no, not necessarily fell in love, but, like, it was what I was directed towards, like, more so, and it was, like, what I would gear more on. Sometimes, of course, parang yung mga shows na katulad ng Super Ingo sa Pilipinas. Yeah, yeah. Parang, Hindi ko naman maiwasan yun kapag ano, pag yun sumampa na sa TV, ako na rin na parang gumagawa ko sa rin ko laruan na yung tatlong kulay na ano ba yun? Red, green, blue, bas <laughs> di ba? Lilipad ako! You know, you know. But this reaction video is like totally different. I mean like you guys have never seen a reaction video where the actual star of the song is hey, don't sitting get right here. No, 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 don't do whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, shout out to Zeus, bro. Oh, Zeus. that's right. <laughs> Zeus is a reaction channel. They do like they had Juice World, rest in peace. On Juice their, World, like, bro, rest in peace to Juice World. And then yeah, Zeus is a reaction channel, and they Man. get the, the artists on it too. Yeah, so. but this is exciting because we're gonna. Because so many people are like talking about this song, like what does this mean? What does that mean? So you know what? Does it clear things up? From, yeah. So, so he's here. So he's gonna clear will. all of this stuff up, and it's gonna be. Fun. Mm. Start it. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. On wish. Wish you a say. This intro. <laughs> wish. Stop at that chorus. Cause that chorus, no matter who, no matter who hears it, right? I mean, you just gonna bounce. It just, you know, it automatically makes you bounce. And what you're saying there, bro, 
Man, in I, Tagalog. In Tagalog. <coughs> diba? Oh, yeah, so, tayo ay Pilipino kahit anong kulay ng balat isa sa puso. So, that means, um, so, put up the, I might put up the translations uh, up here, but it means, we are Filipino, no matter what the color of our skin is, we will take it to heart. You know, tayo ay Pilipino kahit anong kulay ng balat isa sa puso. Mapatagalog, Bisaya, o Ilocano. Those are the three major languages inside the Philippines, you know. So, because generally it's Filipino as like the main language of Tagalog, but then those are like the three main ones, the biggest ones, like, you know. So, I didn't mean to leave any other dialects or like languages inside the Philippines. Yeah, but just wait. <laughs> just wait. Hey, hey now. Hey now. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> Eavesdrop it all. Right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, I didn't mean to leave anybody out, but that was like the initial thought because, you know, Tagalog, Bisaya, and Ilocano. Mm-hmm. Three biggest um, peoples back in the Philippines, so. By the way, shout out to Manny Pacquiao right here. Hey, you know. <laughs> um, Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Pero, pero yung kanta na to, bro. Mm. Sobrang makabayan kaya everybody's comparing you to like the late Francis Sam. He's a very good friend of mine. Kasi lahat ng mga kanta ni Francis Sam, di ba? Talagang binibigay niya yung pagka makabayan niya. And that's mm. exactly what you're doing, bro. That's why everybody is gonna eat this song up because you are so proud of your soil. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. bro, I'm getting goosebumps right now, and I'm with you every day, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, when I watch, like, reactionists, sabi na, sabi nga nila ba, kinikilabutan ako. It's real, bro. Like, when you hear the chorus, talagang kikilabutan ka. Grabe talaga siya. I mean, kayo, di ba? I mean, like, pag hindi kayo kinikilabutan, manhid na kayo nun. Tayo ang balay. Let's go. No, okay. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. All right, here comes the first verse, and we're going to break everything down for y'all, break just so it's clear. Yeah, break it. <laughs> Okay, we gotta stop on that one because he said all kinds of stuff right there, right? So we're gonna have him break it down and so just so you guys know, because like you know, not a lot of people, because he said like cripping and all that stuff. So yeah, like just to clear it all. Um, what was the first thing? So are you a gangster or something? I mean, not not necessarily fully like you know jumped into an actual gang, but just you know that was I had a homie from back then when I was in Pangasinan, and like you know actually like the like that actual involvement was just me hanging out with them. It was like I was partially living in Urdaneta, nice. and the funny story about that is this homie of mine from back then. I'm not gonna name him, but um. Like, I was skateboarding, like, you know, in front of my house and, like, you know, to the gates. And so this dude watching me, like, he walked up to the gate watching me. And then all of my other friends at the time, they ran to, like, the backyard of the house (laughs) because there was, like, and then I was wondering, yo, why are y'all all, all, like, all that? You left me here skating all alone? And they was like, come here, bro. That guy's a criminal. And I was like, huh? Yeah, like I was like, I, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't react to it in a way where I was like a criminal. I mean, he's just watching, right? You know, like, right. And um, he was just watching, and he asked a question, like you know, like in Tagalog, you know, go Oh, and I approached him like like literally sincerely, like just being talking to him like a normal person. Oh, I'm just skateboarding, boys. You know, showed him a trick or two, and he was like. I don't know what I noticed about him, but I think, like, because being in, it's in a province in the Philippines called yeah. Pangasinan, and, like, I don't know how dude has been living, but I feel like he's been living, like, you know, in the gutter and, like, in an archaic type of life. So, this, I don't know if skateboarding to him was, like, a first to see, but that's, like, what I felt like, you know, he was curious about what the hell I was doing because, 
So I let him in the gate. <laughs> I let him in the gate. And I was like, I was showing him something. He tried to roll on it because just like, out of curiosity. And he was like, just, just really like weirded out with the fact that like, you know, the, the, the board was just like, you know, too slippery to handle it. Like, you know, and I don't know, that probably struck a curious chord. And he, after that, he would come often. And then here's like the weirdest thing where I feel like, I got semi jumped in or not even probably just I don't know bro like I one day he brought his bag with him and told me like sumama sa akin nanta punta merong skate park sa outskirts ng he didn't say outskirts but like sa labas <laughs> like there's a skate park in the <laughs> outskirts of the city <laughs> um he's, there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city and um it's in an abandoned restaurant, and my grandma thought I was crazy to believe this guy. Like, you know, but I don't Whoa. know. What <laughs> I would think it. I mean, so dude, it's like notorious me is a criminal. Like, everybody's like crazy. running. There's a criminal, and you're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> but I was like, bro, like, I don't get out that much. So, like, just me hanging out with him, I don't know. There was, like, a strong sense of, like, um, I don't know, like, angst I was get just hanging out from him and also just the fact that, you know, I felt like he was genuinely happy trying this something, this skateboarding thing that he was never aware of. So I was like just approaching him as like a like a homie you feel yeah. me? And I felt like I felt that from him that he was getting this treatment that was he wouldn't get from anywhere. I don't yeah. know, I don't put that like that. So yeah, we went to the skate park and he would always like right when we got on the jeepney, jeepney like these like the main jeepney things. That's the main main uh, ride. Main, main ride. Transporta main, main, main transportation, transportation for the Philippines. Philippines yeah. So I got on the jeepney with him to the skate park and he wore this blue rag all the time. When he, mm. whenever he's like, you know, trying to get out somewhere. Like, you know, and then we got to the place and we just like about fifty motherfuckers that are like kind of like the same the same vibe as him and like everybody's like that look like, oh, what's up bro and then that's like kind of like some of them were skaters and I literally taught him how to shove it inside of the fucking like abandoned restaurant skate park right. and like I don't know some sometimes they would tell me to hide because some people are like coming through. <laughs> And I would have my skateboard just ready like this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> but that's like, that's a funny story, man. That's crazy. But the way you represent, like, yeah. where you from, it's like your roots. Mm -hmm. It's like you have never forgotten. Like, bro, I think, like, every song that I hear, you always throw up a 22 double O. And, like, everybody's, like, wondering, like, is that a set? And so now yeah. he's clearing it up. You know what I mean? It's no. Not, it ain't no, like, regular block or set that anybody would just throw up because of, like, no turf war or nothing. It's, like, it may be derived in terms of influence towards that because I feel like a sense of the way that they that came about is they need to put that up to, like, state the claim. If you're coming across... Like a lot of people who are like, you know, your enemy, like the enemy hood, you gotta still uh, stand on ten toes being like, you know, I rep this shit. Oh, yeah. Know? Like, but for me, like, I derive that in terms of influence, not no culture vulture shit, but like derive in terms of influence from that and use it in a way that's positive, not deriving um, like negativity out of it. Like, I want, I made these signs, I made these signs like symbolizing two, two double O. Like, right. that's my entire city, so I'm putting up for my entire city, you feel me? Man, how long ago, be proud. And also, you brought you brought up, like, Kendrick, and then mm -hmm. ASAP yeah. and ASAP, so I'm, I'm assuming that's, like, your main... I mean, like, you guys can't deny anyways this dude right here, <laughs> but he spits, bro. I mean, like, everybody's saying it. I mean, I'm, I'll be, like, the first one to say. Man, he's got songs, bro, that, like... You sound exactly like Ambro, and you got songs that you sound exactly like Kendrick. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, I mean, like, <clears throat> bro, it's it's crazy because everybody that watches like all the reactions and, and mm -hmm. shit like that, you know what I mean? They're like, bro, is this M? <laughs> and they're like, you know what I mean? Like, I and they're like, 
man, I hope I hope M hits up this kid, you know what I mean? It would be dope to have them two together, you know what I'm saying? Like we went really <laughs> far into this, like the lyrics already, it would even be I know <laughs> But you know but oh, it's true. a good thing in terms of explaining because we know the song already, like because right. just playing it so much throughout the house, but yeah. But like let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm in the space, but then the S is side. I'm cleaning my way like a kiss of water water cross for some love and just <laughs> All right. A lot a lot of people that do not get this. A lot of people hindi nila naiintindihan tong part na to. Kaya ang gagawin natin, papa-explain natin sa kanya ngayon. Go, bro. Mm. Ano ibig sabihin nun? I'm claim um So, let's skip the Spain pain part. Yeah, That's already like that. a given, but um I'm claiming my rain like a king so I can water crops for surviving. Mm-hmm. And then if you hear in the background, if you actually listen to the real record, right. it says the ad libs go like rain, rain. That's like the background ad lib at that part. Rain, rain. And then my verse says, Go away if you tripping. Rain, rain, go away. So but also I'm trying to like there's a counterpart happening in terms of calling the rain to go away. Yeah. And also having like, I'm, I'm, claiming, I'm claiming my rain like a king so I can water crops for surviving. It's just like in terms of like a survival line. I'm cr- claiming my rain like a king, mm-hmm. but rain, rain, you know, double entendre. Because a lot of people, they just skip over that and they don't really understand it, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So a lot of people are like, when when they react I'm to I'm spoon that, feeding, yo. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are spoiled right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's, that's what that is. Yeah. Now we got to go. Wait, wait, wait. So, you, you also said, like, right there, right? Mm. When they claim that, that they listen. So, uh, all right, here we go. Because I, I, for me, it's like you're saying, like, a lot of people, like, I listen to the song or whatever. But do you, what do you actually mean? Like, pre- people are pretending that they listen to it when they really didn't. What, are you, what did you mean? When well, you said it. of course, that's just like a generalization of some people who derive it from um, um, non-listeners who just go off of like plain critique mm-hmm. right away. But of course, it goes to show that I don't necessarily like, I don't let it affect me, but it's just something to address people who are quick on a whim to right. critique right away instead of like, Oh, did you actually listen? Yeah. Mas parang yung ano, di ba? Bag hindi hindi pa nila nakikinig. Parang mga haters ba? Yeah. Di ba? Hindi pa nila naririnig yung kanta. Hindi pa nila napapanood yung video sa anong ginagawa? Dislike. 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 So, you know, you know, ano, to ya din. If you guys didn't understand that, I don't even know what to tell you. He's just like, you know what I mean? Reminding his people to shout. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Bro, three stars in the sun. Siyempre, di ba? I mean, bro, yung, yung sa sobrang makabayan mo, bro, talagang it came out in a song. You know what I mean? Like, And they don't understand like how much you love your country. You know what I mean? Like, Not a lot of people are like that. You know what I mean? Like, when they, when they make it here, and... If you guys didn't know, he's already made it here. I mean, like, <laughs> dude, he's like, he's trending worldwide right now. It's not this, not just trending the Philippines, lang, diba? So, pero every song I'm telling you, every song, if you're carrying your country, you're mm-hmm. carrying 22 double O. You know what I mean? Like, everybody should be proud, just like everybody is. Everybody is proud. You know what I mean? I talked, mm-hmm. I talked the whole part, bro. You, know, uh, <laughs> you go ahead, man. You know, but you feel. This chorus is coming up, and you know, we're about to bounce. Walang tatalo sa bagsik ng ating dugo means nobody can beat the ferocity exactly. of our bloodline. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Katapangan talaga. Hey, if you seen that video, five Filipinos versus twenty Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
DDS? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I discuss problems. <laughs> That's just to be like on a positive note as sometimes. We don't have to always discuss problems, bro. Wag nang pag-usapan ng mga negatibo. That means let's not discuss the problems. Yes. Just for a time being. Let's have a good time right now in this song. But of course I'm going to talk about problems. The fuck? Yes, <laughs> my ass, <laughs> And here's on. daming nagsasabi hindi nila naiintindihan di ba? Oh, Siguro <clears throat> kasi ako nung tumira ako sa Pilipinas 90s pa yon. Mm. So alam na alam ko yung sinasa yung sinasabi mo na sinaing na pusa. Kasi yung mga yung mga yung mga news ko na hindi nakakaintindi kung anong ibig niyang sabihin. <laughs> sabihin ko lang sa inyo, hindi, right. hindi niya na kailangan sabihin. Pag nagpunta ka ng probinsya sa Pilipinas, alam mo ba kung anong inuulam <laughs> ng mga tao doon? Naghahanap sila ng mga pusa. Yung mga pusa, aso, yun ang kinakain nila. So yung mga hindi nakakain, tama ba ako? Is, tama, that, is that what that is? Tama ako to. So, that's why like I took that line. Kasi doon rin, sa probinsya ko, sa Pangasinan, sa Ordaneta, doon ako tumitira sa lola ko doon. Like, you know, like, I know the part of people, like, I see... I witnessed one of these cats that I really adored. It was a stray cat, but it would come to our house. Right. And like, <clears throat> I literally witnessed like right in front of my eyes. Like I was looking out the window at night time. Meron isang lalaki, karga karga ni yung pusa. Patay na. Like, like literally. Oh, can. by the way, no. We have to actually translate this Tagalog version for everybody that's watching that's in, that doesn't understand Tagalog. So, like your first... Like, oh, kung inakala mo... Uh, kung, kung inakala mo isang ligwahe lang kayang gamitin ni Easy Mail, if you thought that Easy Mail can only use one language, kay Bathala kasi singil, you're gonna pay a debt to Bathala. Bathala means God. So, that's like the uh, direct translation of that. Right. And, um, what's it? Kay Bathala kasi singil, utang na galing sa loob na lumutang. This whole scheme is like... I was like derailing myself in terms of like a very um very solidified topic. It was just me going on a tangent where every single line literally rhymes. It's called multisyllabic rhyming. Yeah, multisyllabic rhyming. Know. But I didn't go forward like you know, I didn't go focused on what would be like, you know, a, I w- I didn't address anything too specific, right. but like utang na galing sa loob. Utang na loob means utang just because loob. like, um, kay Bathala ka, sisingil. So, kapag meron kang sisingilin, parang, di ba, may utang na loob na right. yung involved. So, loob. like, so, I just derived it from that and went bullshit route. Right. But with rhymes. <laughs> That's like, literally it, bro. Like, just straight I just up. had fun with it. You yeah. know what I mean? <clears throat> utang na galing sa loob na lumutang hinain sa turon na may pusang sinain sa actually, it w- I was gonna go for that line. Um, utang na galing sa loob. It means like, how do you say it in English? Like, you owe, you owe, you owe someone. Like, like pretend somebody did something for you. And like, so you owe that person. Yeah. Right? That's, I, mean, yeah. I think that's, yeah, I think Nagaling that's Nagaling sa loob na lumutang. <clears throat> lumutang like, is, it floated. Floated, yeah. <laughs> so, cause from inside, it like floated and then you just put it on. Yeah, so it's just like a, a straight up scheme, like a, a straight up bullshit scheme yeah. with rhymes. But. Having having fun. I mean, like, you, I mean, you gotta, you guys gotta respect that. He's like honest enough to actually, you know what I mean, admit that instead of like trying to make up shit about, you know, like, yeah, oh, you know what I mean. So, I mean, the fun lines. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, I also love the fact that. I included that there. The fact that people made memes about it. Like, yeah, you know? <laughs> they did though. Like having that factor in terms of like it blowing up. Like and also the mean spectrum of it. Like people have something to drag towards in the meme world. And I love it. I love right. memes. So the the pusa line, pusa in English means cat. Mm-hmm. So what he's trying to say is like, 
somebody was cooking a cat. Because in the Philippines, if you live in the Philippines, in the back provinces, people eat dogs, people eat cats, and it's natural. You know, it's like, natural. It's, it's natural. It's just, just what you know. Is. That's exactly what he's saying. And for people, like they, they're so confused. They're like, "What does that mean? What does that mean, bro? What do you mean? You never heard anybody eating a cat? You ever heard of shopao?" <laughs> Anyways, we go. Right. Okay, I also saw a comment. You're like, bro, did he make a mistake? Why did he stop? Tell him why he stopped. Oh, that's actually a censored part because of which. So, um, even though I told y'all screw y'all, or if we're not being censored in this channel, yeah. like, uh -huh. even though I told y'all fuck y'all, like that's what that means. Uray no nga imbagak niya yung tiyok niya yung dito yakla ang agur uray no sinota idayo. I'll be right here waiting on any of y'all put like any of y'all to pull up. Like that's just that you know. Yeah. Even though I told y'all fuck y'all, I'll be right here. Waiting for y'all to pull up. So, uray nung ay bagak niya yung tiyok niya yung dito yakla ang agur uray no sinota idayo. Tapno o sang sang itam ak inti wagas mo nga file like so even though like you're telling me all that you're like giving me dumbass advice you're like <laughs> crying to me like oh you shouldn't eat you shouldn't you shouldn't uh. <laughs> like sang sang so it's just like, like it's just like, just like straight up talking shit yes yeah, it's just straight, straight up, up in Ilocano in Ilocano that's pretty <laughs> bro now, I mean when you say like straight up. I mean, that like straight up. Straight up, right? Like, go. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that part. Um. Wait, what did I say? Ure no nga yung baga kanya ite o kanay dito yak lang ang gururay no sinote ang tayo tap no usang sang itam akin te wagas mo nga payo tap no tap no isang sang itam akin te wagas mo nga payo nga ta kay kaya tam nga patay ang kakan ato'y bayo nga ta kay kaya tam it's like you like after all that shit that I said you know I think you want a death wish bro I think you asked me for a death wish so that's like that's like those are the lines in Ibrahim. You know so, These next lines right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to guess. Like the first one that you said is in Ilocano, mm -hmm. and then English and Tagalog, right? Same same meaning. Same meaning on every single line. So like right here. All of those lines mean the same thing. All of, so si kayo nga am amin. Lahat kayo. All, all of you. Like, it all means the phrase, all of you. All of you, but said in three different ways of saying it. So first was, Ilocano, Tagalog, and English. Si kayo nga am amin. Lahat kayo. All of you. So that's like literally generalizing all of y'all in three different universes, bro. And here comes everybody's part. Everybody's part. Everybody's part. Everybody's part. Right here. Go ahead. Everybody. Let's do it. I was been kind of discriminated in my own home country. So I'm saying like, Mooty, 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 this one. I ain't so you. I'm pretty Ah! 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 You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ah! Man. You know ah, that. man. And for people who are... People are like saying like some people, some ignorant people, they're like, you know, mm. dude, that's not like, that's, that's not, not discriminating, bro. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? Like if you was living here and saying, you know what I mean? Like when you talk about like white people or Mexicans or Chinese or anything or black sort. people, if you say anything like that, your ass is going to jail here, bro. You know, it, that's the same thing sa Pilipinas. Na pag sinabi mo, eh, puti puti mo, di ka naman Pilipino eh, di ba? I mean like, tinutokso ka ng, tinutokso ka ng, tinutokso ka ng mga tao. So, it is discriminating. For, so, for people to say like, it's not, it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a total definition of like. I think that it's just, you know, different aspects of how people view it, you know. At first, like, there's the general people, like, Mostly everyone back home that kayo kayo manggi yung balat, di ba? Mm. Kaya parang pinipicture nila kasi syempre, yun yung 
yun yung parang pinoportray sa media. O right. kailangan, kailangan para maganda ka, maputi ka. Mm-hmm. Ganun. And, you know, in terms of how they're thinking of the way, like, that's what they've been fed in terms of, like, how they see that. So, if they, they might, they might say that if you're called Pisoy, you're like, you're lucky. Mm-hmm. And then, but it's different in my perspective because of me growing up as this, you know, thing that they call Tisoy. In terms of like not being a general Tisoy Pinoy, I'm like, I look like a Caucasian yeah. person. And because I'm half and you're, you're probably like, you're probably like all of it or three quarters because my mom's white. And then my dad's Filipino and Spaniard, but I mean, like my color is far from you, so like they call me like semi tisoy, but you know, but yeah. <clears throat> but in terms of like how that um derived, what I experienced from when I was a kid was like um, kids didn't talk to me just because of the fact that they think that you know, they're gonna have to speak English, yeah, and most of the fact is that you know. In the Philippines, people, madalas yung mga tao, they, they're um, shy yeah. to speak English. And then, also with the fact that they, I don't know, they just, I didn't get to fit in, like, right away as quick as, like, you know, all the other kids. Which, me saying that line is, like, it's, it's extensive. It's, like, it's exaggerated to a point. Because I'm exaggerating this um, bad feeling I had when I was a kid, which of course I'm supposed to be grown up to understand. I'm grown up enough to understand that it was just what it was back then. But you're gonna right. get accepted no matter what. But you know, you're not that's bad. just like you know, I'm just speaking on facts of what I felt from before, and I just put that right there. But just that's so happening like all around the world, though. Like even here, you know what I mean? If you go like far skirts far skirts of like states and stuff you know like a lot of people don't accept like if they see like a black dude or, or an Asian guy or a Mexican guy they're like you know what I mean like oh, let's go that way you know what I mean like man discrimination is still going on around the world bro it's not just you know what I'm saying it, it, it's just it's just, I mean this this subject is like totally disgusting I mean like yeah, it's crazy it's, it's a subject that's always gonna be iffy when it comes to like just everything about it is iffy bro so you know, it, different perspectives come clashing along from people who want to debate about it, but I just said what I felt, and, you know, I'm glad some people related to it, and I'm yeah. also glad some people are willing to debate it, you know. It's just, I'm cool with whatever y'all think. Just, and the way you said it, too, I ain't this soy, and then the way that you said, like, Pinoy, bro, that had so much feelings, like, you could feel it, like, when you said, yeah. like, like, feelings, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, you know what I mean? Because that line actually has some truth to it with me. Um, I was, with my mom, she was performing, like, on stage, and some of her, like, instrumentalist friends was, like, talking to me in English. And I, I said that out loud to the guy, like, so, he was talking to me in English. And I remember my mom was telling that story to me. I, she said that I said when I was a kid, Ano ka ba? Pinoy ako, nagtatagalog ako. <laughs> by the way, if you, guys, if you guys didn't know, by the way, mm-hmm. his mom and his dad are both amazing singers. Hazel, and I don't, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys know who his dad is. His name is Paul Sapieva. He used to be the, well, he used to be the lead singer, Art guitarist, yeah. I mean, Arcasia. yeah, rock star, which a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people know, but uh-huh. you know, and he picked up all of that stuff, <laughs> singing, <laughs> rapping, metal, playing guitars. But, I mean, you guys haven't seen like a quarter of this man. I promise you, hindi nyo pa nakikita yung quarter ng talent na ibibigay niya sa inyo. You guys gotta, you guys gotta follow him. But we gotta this part right here that's coming up, his fast part. Like when I first listened to the song, I'm like, what the. Uh, what? Because I wasn't ready. Because you were like, yeah, yeah. I, but you know, it, it, it was built up. Because when you said like, I am, I am this way, I'm big noy. Then da, 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 da. Oh. And I swear that. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wait, wait, 
okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, all right. Everybody's talking about this line. It's like a big debate. That also, man. <laughs> so, explain it to them why you said it. So, first and foremost, I would have said the first English lines, you know, it was pretty straight up, you know. And it's very fast. And I swear that nobody will ever look at me the same way again to make it to the top of me showing naysayers and naysayers. Like no it's people people that like to say Mind no. Mind the rhymes too, bro. Mm -hmm. the same way again to make it to the top of lobby showing naysayers and na -na, and then it goes straight up to Tagalog. Tagalog which is beautiful. And I swear that nobody will ever look at me the same way again to make it to the top of lobby showing naysayers and another na ako na mula pa na pinikuta si Lapa sa maktan at lahat na saktan na malamit na napinta yung kanang bayani sa karagatan ng sana pagad. So that whole why I chose the term pinu pinugutan si lapu lapu sa maktan is like because in terms of a writing pattern I always go through this like you know dilemma or doubt in my head in terms of when it comes to closing out a song yeah am I gonna close it out close it out with absolute truth or and I'm am I gonna make people, people talk, talk about it, it. Yeah. you know you know yeah. so that's like in terms of me weighing the options <laughs> I get what you're saying. So you really actually said that so people would talk about it. Yeah, I, of course, you know, you know, the history about Lapu Lapu and Magellan, you know, from the history of the Philippines is just like, um, Lapu Lapu was able to like, you know, um, he, in the process of that, he, of course, he died. The, yeah. He, that was way back then. Right. But me just using the term pinugutan, pinugutan means to be beheaded. Mm -hmm. He was never beheaded. That's like just me putting an, an exaggerated term in a ploy to, um, you know, drive traffic and talk. It's like inaccurate, but he still died. He still died. <laughs> He's dead right now. So it's like, it's not overall factual in a way, but still. Like, the thing that's factual about that is whenever he did die from back then, like, people were still saddened. The original Filipinos oh, yeah. were still saddened. So that's, like, just a way of me twisting how things were. And I am sorry to anybody who was, like, offended with the fact of me being, like, you know, putting inaccurate sources about, like, our history as Filipinos. But, you know, that's why... The song is what it is right now, and mm -hmm. just the, just me being like you know thoughtful. Okay, I was like writing this shit. Okay, I gotta close out the song. Then I'm, and that's that's important. Closing out gonna, the song is important. So, the way I derived that got people talking. Yeah, it got people agreeing to it. I got people disagreeing to yeah. it. I got people in the in-betweens, I had to check that all out. I had to make sure, boom, boom, boom. Yep. So, the way it is right now, people are talking, man. So, yep. I have to be smart with it. <laughs> so it's, I, mean, that, I mean, you just put some color in mm -hmm. like, what the truth was. Yeah. And you just colored it up. You know, like, make it, just make it pretty. Yeah. You know, why not? And plus, it's the ending of a... It's make it pretty, of, but in a brutal way. Because, yeah. like, you know... He was never really beheaded. No, he was not. He was not beheaded. But saying that, it sounds... Ah, yeah. It sounds... He got beheaded? Damn. Beastie. He said, <laughs> it sounds, yeah, it sounds beastie. It sounds nasty. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, damn. You feel like... <laughs> I mean, like, did you practice, like, your face reactions? Like, when you, bro, I mean, like, when people perform, you know what I mean? Like, 
like for example like cultura you know what i mean like yeah if you guys didn't know like all my facial reactions were taught by him like mm. how to how to how to do that how to do delim with my whatever so how did you like like how do you practice it yeah you know but i don't know what it i don't know oh how wait i'm it, sorry or is it emotions coming out of you that you know what i mean it it comes from that but also <laughs> me being a fan of the like the music that i that i'm a fan of i would listen to it in front of a mirror and mm. imagine myself as those artists performing on stage or performing in front of a music video and i don't know i i do i do it in a way where i feel like conveying a certain word or a certain way it's supposed to be like felt and like how your eyes are looking towards the camera how your mouth is moving how how your head is placed in terms of like the attitude you're trying to convey it's yeah. like directing yeah so like directing acting and like directing acting all of that aspect that goes into it is like i learned it all like subtly like i didn't like intentionally go into like okay i'm gonna be focusing on acting now i'm gonna be focused on directing now it just came with it because me going into like this solo ride is like you guys see my music videos and me having to uh, and they're all dope Thank you. And bro, every time like I watch a, a a music video that you've that you've made, and not a lot of people know this, and we're gonna clear this up. Mm. By the way, he shoots all this with his sister Ruth. Yeah. You know, and then he directs all of it. He screenwrites everything. He lahat. He screenwrites everything, and then he edits everything. He puts all the visuals in it. I mean, like, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, that's. Mm. I don't even know what you call it, bro. That's like, it's just talent. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, wait till he, he does all the other stuff that he does. And you guys will find that out soon. You guys just got to keep following him. You, you know might, I mean? you, you know, to, 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 to most people, it is very dope. Yeah. But like, when it comes to critiquing, I don't feel like I've reached the level that I want to yet. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like, look, no. like, look, it's just, I don't know, I, it's something that I got addicted to, Yeah. is the quality of the stuff that I put out. So, Bruh. like, I literally became an obsessive with every single aspect of the things that I do. Yeah. Like, the video, ed video editing side, I follow... Like movie video yeah. editors and VFX stuff. I want to get into After Effects and learn how to make 3D right. like shit, like Godzilla. Like <laughs> make that on my own. That's like I went that route too. And then on the music side of things, following producers, like you know, like experimental producers, even even like you know, going as to far like what kind of new plugins are always like available to the market and what kind of um hardware or software is like in terms of like the audio world in terms of like of course in the musician side in terms of like I don't know it's just everything that goes into this craft is like like I don't know how to explain it you just bro you just love it the, yeah. the passion that everything that goes into it yeah. like, like I, I was like this like this nobody can picture how I want it to look I don't want to like depend it like the most cases is like artists like you know go to a label so that that it can be done for them yeah like the shooting and everything. let me let me give you guys an example why I told them to shut the fuck up <laughs> jokingly by the way it's all love <laughs> I told him to shut the fuck up it's because when he was editing cultura <laughs> by the way right <laughs> when he was putting all these lights and then and then he's looking at it and I'm like, God damn, that shit's dope. And then he's just all of a sudden like, Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I swear to God. Do it one time for him. Do it one time for him. Do it. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like. I, I swear to God, bro. How I critique my own shit is like, it will always be only me who critiques it like that way. He, I showed him like this one 
like part of the house. I can't see shit. Where to see shit? It's he's tracking, bro. It's like tra- <laughs> he showed it to my seal. I still don't see it. I'm like, what the fuck? And then he. <laughs> It was tracking of a light <laughs> sequence. I couldn't get it correctly, bro. Like the light that was striking from the upwards. Oh it was my like, god! It was indirect to my eyes. It's oh editor shit, god. bro. I'm telling you, it's editor shit. It's I know. Fucking- <laughs> but I'm saying, like, he has those eyes that, like, he sees like a little dot when it's wrong, and he'll be like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, the whole world just fucking fell apart. He was so <laughs> confused. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at you, and you're like this, and you're like... Fuck! You know, I'm like, what? I'm like, what, what happened? And he's like, this fucking dot. You see that? And I'm like, what the... Where? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we've been here forever. So do you want to... Yeah, when I to close it out, yeah, it's just it's I get so over critiquing myself. He was like, he can't see what I see, so no. I'm just like a perfectionist because yeah. I'm trying to make do with what we have. You feel me? But we you know, know, look what look what he did to to cultura though, the video. I mean, like, if he didn't like like the production of you know cultura, I, I like I watched like a lot of reaction videos and they were like, God damn, they spent a lot of money in that video. No, nope. no. Nope. That's all his work right there. Editing. <sighs> man, yeah, nice bro, work. thank you so much for being here. You know, no I love problem, you. Man. You know, this might be a low quality ass video in some aspects of it, bro, but like, you know, it's realer than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Realer than a motherfucker. Thank you for everybody that watched. I haven't done a lot of reaction videos because, you know, me Let and me just... got sick, but he's got something to say. Oh. I love all of y'all, man. The haters, the in-betweens. That's a fact. Especially the fans. Every single one of y'all are here to see what's happening in terms of my career and how I propel it forward. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I can't wait to deliver more content and more material that is, whatever it may be, my collaborations with people in my camp, people that are not in my camp, my family members, like everything that just goes into it, like right. y'all watching the steps and like even these, I was just going. So that's what it is, man. Wonder why that's blinking. I guess it's time to <laughs> <laughs> peace, y'all. Wish you would say win. thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you to wish, Aaron. Aaron. We love you, bro. But that much love. Our family's waiting downstairs because we're about to play Tongues. Yeah. Good night, y'all. They're waiting. <laughs> Tongues time. Everyone. Let's go. We love you guys. Peace. Oh yeah, gotta show this up. Oh, that's right. My baby got this one. Mm-hmm. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, <laughs> glitch, glitching, baby. I'ma bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Peace.